To continue again our 14th Amendment conversation that I brought up yesterday about I think that's the only way we're going to get Donald Trump not to be qualified to run for office, the Court of Appeals, just so that I, I get it right, um, uh, for the Fourth Circuit, ruled against Madison Cawthorn and ruled that participants in an insurrection can be barred from holding office or perhaps even to appear on a ballot. Right? Cawthorn lost his reelection bid and so became mute. And the court didn't address whether or not he, in fact, participated in the insurrection, which he has denied. Trump then gets on social media yesterday, yeah. which means he either watches the show or is concerned about this 14th Amendment argument. Or, so. and, or both. And he says, um, Fast Zone News here, back with more breaking news, and today we're going to be seeing the crazy ladies on The View have an absolute meltdown. These insane liberals were once again talking about Donald Trump on their show and somehow got on the topic of the 14th Amendment. Their totally uninformed, brainwashed audience cheered at the prospect of leaving Trump off the ballot, and it was honestly pretty unbelievable to watch. They discussed everything from the 2024 election to the Proud Boys getting sentenced and showed just how little they know about it all. We'll see these unhinged liberals' point of view in this video, as well as get my honest reaction to the insanity. I personally can't believe people like this exist, and if you guys want to continue to see the latest news and content, hit the subscribe button below. The ex-leader of the Proud Boys, Enrique Tarrio, just got 22 years in prison. He was convicted for a seditious conspiracy over his role in the Capitol, in the Capitol in, on January 6th. It's the most severe this guy wasn't even at the Capitol on January 6th, but yet they give him the harshest penalty. And I really don't understand what there is to cheer about. It just shows how, how terrible this side of the aisle is. It's crazy. And these women are absolutely insane. This is, this is literally the worst show on TV, aside from maybe like MSNBC with Joy Reid. Um, just their absolute hatred for white people and hatred for the, the right side, but are just totally uninformed. Uh, so basically, at first year, what they talk about is like all the they're so excited for all the uh, uh, prosecution of the Proud Boys and, the, and anybody who's Republican. They're all cheering and and celebrating about their divisive actions on on the left. And then they get into Trump and their and their conspiracy theory, uh, 14th Amendment hopes and wishes and prayers to somehow get him out of their nightmares. Uh, but let's let's watch Your penalty uh, given down uh, from more than. 1,100 people charged in connection yeah. with the Capitol attack. So uh, does it seem like the punishment fit the crime? Yeah. Well, absolutely. 22 I mean, years. No. He tried to dismantle our... What was the crime? ...or very democracy. And I, I will say this. This is a government strategy, right? If you identified a far-right wing group or a group that's causing this country a lot of problems, you try to cut the head of the snake off. And so by cutting off all the leaders and imprisoning them, but you the hope snake, that the organization Donald dies. Isn't Donald the snake? This well, he's, he's the, head, the head snake, but this is another he's snake. What a dumb analogy. The little right? snakes. These oh. are the little snakes. Mm -hmm. But I have noticed and, You're the and, little and snake. reporters have noticed that instead of working federally now, they're going into local communities and they are stirring up issues with the LGBTQ plus community, mm. with black You folks. mean the right wing groups. This, mm. the Proud Boys yeah. in particular. And Dude, I gotta stop it here, I'm sorry. Nobody's stirring up anything in any communities. If anything, it's just people waking up to how insane the left is and how insane the Democratic Party is in their policies. And then they want to say that we're banning books and banning history. It's like nobody's banning black history. Nobody's that concerned about people learning black history. They've just turned it into a political issue because they want to, they want to teach a new history. And they've got it confused with us not wanting to teach the same history that we've taught for the beginning of time. And they, they're like saying we don't want to teach history because we don't want to teach the new history. And people literally don't understand the difference. They think that like people are the average uninformed person on the street thinks that like Ron DeSantis and the Republicans are taking out the history that they learned as kids. It's like, no, do some research. Critical race theory is evil. And it's not the it's not that these Proud Boys are stirring up controversy. It's that people are waking up to the insanity of the Democratic Party. And these people are so dumb.
And so they're now working on anti-black history and yep. they're working See, on a local level. Know? So the government cutting off the head of the snake. Nobody cares. Theory that we've used for years and years and years. I just don't know if it works with these right-wing militia Doesn't groups. it well, signal to the rest of them that this could happen yeah, to I you? Yeah, really I would think, but they're such, they believe that they are actually patriots. Yeah, maybe after 10 years working, they won't right? believe it so much. Well, this guy was in, you realize why he couldn't be there on January 6th. Yes. Because he was put away for burning a Black Lives Matter poster or flag at a, at a church. church. And by the way, yes. he's Afro-Cuban. What is wrong with that? Like, can make that no make sense for me? No one told him that. Yeah. Wait, what did she yeah. Afro-Cuban. Like, can she make just... black lives matter. Here we go with the Democratic Party labeling people, labeling race that they only can think one way. It's straight out of the Joe Biden playbook. If you have a, a hard time deciding between me and Trump, then you ain't black, man. And she's doing the exact same thing. The Democrats are the racist ones. They're the ones that label certain groups of people and they say these are the only ways they need they this is the only way that they're allowed to think. Like listen to her, she's going to say this guy's a Puerto Rican. He's not allowed to support Trump. It's like shut up. The the Spanish uh, supporters for the Republican Party are going through the roof because guess what? The people that cross the border legally, they don't want this to turn into Mexico. So guess what? They support strong border security, which is what everyone in this country should support. It's just like, God, they're the racist ones. Matter poster or flag at, at a, a church. church. And by the way, yes. he's Afro-Cuban. Like, can make that no make sense No one told him that. Self -hatred. Yeah. It's self-hatred. Listen, yeah. I, as I've, no, I've said uh, before, your color doesn't determine racism. Your ethnicity doesn't determine discrimination and racism. You can be... Uh, you can oh be Hispanic, God. you can be black, and you can be racist, and you can be stupid. Yeah. And that's what this like guy you. is. I'm very glad they're putting them away. Um, I think there needs to be consequences. And I, I do think that they should learn. You know, listen, Trump has 18 co-defendants in Georgia. Yep. There's 1,100 of these guys and uh, women going, uh, you know, yeah. facing legal action. And they'll all get off. And some of them sentencing. Trump isn't doing a thing to help any of them. No. The only person that Trump helps is Donald Trump. Right. And I don't know when people are going to open up their eyes and realize they that they care. are being duped. They don't well, care. And there's also like a common duped. framing when people talk about Donald Trump, other, you know, oh, it's inappropriate behavior or, you know, it yeah. doesn't look good. It, there's a difference between that and illegal. This is showing people, no, there are laws, and this was illegal. Criminal behavior. And, yeah, criminal behavior. And this, to me, is you make an example out of these people. This isn't showing anything, but but that we're in an election year and this is the democrats latest stunt to try to get trump this is going on what year eight of trying to get trump like let's just relax guys we're literally interpreting the law even the democratic party says that these indictments are absolutely insane it's like legal interpretation it's called nuanced legal interpretation and they're trying to like twist the law with like words and interpret it a different way than it's always been and that he's an insurrectionist because he let's just let them talk about so it so next time they want to stir the pot and sunny the next one comes up behind him yeah you know that there will be consequences hopefully That's they the understand so what, what does it mean for trump wow. i do think it's significant Nothing. for trump it's different because he's not being charged with seditious conspiracy but enrique tari enrique tari was at tario i'm sorry was in Baltimore on January 6th. He wasn't in the Capitol, but it shows that you can instigate a riot, you can instigate an insurrection, and not be there. you can help organize it without wow. physically. Could that be president? Boom. Yes, which, boom. Which is a factor that Donald Trump is going to have to deal with. Yeah. But I would note one thing. Um, I think Sonny's absolutely right that this is about going after the leadership. It's kind of trying to have a chilling effect on other memberships. But the Proud Boys membership nearly doubled after January 6th <laughs> yeah. from 43 state chapters to it's 72. Hilarious. So this is an and insidious local group state chapter. But that all across also the country. Maybe it's just the right way to think, unlike you guys. It, it, it speaks to the Trump phenomenon, because no matter how bad it gets, when people on the right, the, the far right extremes here, wah, 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 they, right. they double they do. down. So no matter how bad it gets, it, it Every time recruits. he gets indicted, his numbers but, go His mugshot raised yes. millions. But you what know, is it that um, they identify? Because the indictments are bullshit. I, I think him or what? I, yeah, I think Sonny's point um, about them now coming out against coming after the lgbtq mm -hmm. black history mm -hmm. immigrants all of these things you know the reason that they're being effective is because there are complicit politicians in state That's capitals right. and state yes. legislatures like ron DeSantis, who are echoing this embracing this and making this i agree law. i agree but what and, I, oh go ahead no, I was just going to say, you know, to continue again our 14th Amendment conversation that I brought up yesterday. Here we go.
the, the latest democratic conspiracy theory, the 14th Amendment. Yesterday, but I think that's the only way we're going to get Donald Trump not to be qualified to run for office. The Court of Appeals, just so that I... I They're terrified. ...get it right, um, uh, for the Fourth Circuit, ruled against Madison Cawthorn and ruled that participants in an insurrection can be barred from holding office or perhaps even to appear on a ballot. Right? Cawthorn lost his re-election bid and so became mute, and the court didn't address whether or not he, in fact, participated in the insurrection, which he has denied. Trump then gets on social media yesterday, yeah. which means he either watches the show or is concerned about this 14th Amendment argument. Nobody watches the show. It was the insane liberals in Colorado that just filed a, a lawsuit against him to try to keep him off the ballot. It's like, nobody watches this stupid show. And it's like, why don't you just want to beat your opponent fairly like you give trump all this crap for challenging an election and saying that there was voter fraud but the democratic party takes it like 10 steps further they want to literally keep the guy off the ballot for what because he, he staged an insurrection he wasn't even there he gave a speech and then he left and then he went to the white house and he literally put out multiple tweets telling everybody to stop and what they're charging him with is like he knew that the uh, the election wasn't stolen and he was still pushing this. It's like, how are you going to prove that Trump didn't really think the election was stolen? You're going to just somehow read his mind? Like, I think even if you ask any Democrat, they would say the same thing. Trump really did and still does think the election was stolen. So you're not going to be able to do anything with with these indictments. They're they're purely political and it's literally just to try to mess up his campaign. It's like, it's insane. And <laughs> Or both. And he says, um, he criticizes the argument yesterday in a Truth Social post claiming that the 14th Amendment has no legal basis relative to the Christ 2024 election. But that is not true because there's another case where a New Mexico County commissioner, Coy Griffin, was convicted of a misdemeanor trespass for participating in January 6th. Right. And he was refused the position to hold office. Okay. They're literally comparing this 14th Amendment dumb shit to a county commissioner to a president. This guy literally did nothing wrong. Trump did nothing wrong in the entire thing. All their lawsuits are bullshit. Whether it's the, the uh, what is it, classified documents case. Trump has declassification powers as the president. Whether it's the insurrection case, Trump didn't do anything he gave a speech went back to the white house saw what was going on and then put out multiple tweets telling them to stop so that's not going to go very well in court either uh and what's the other one uh classified what is the other oh man the oh the votes in georgia raffensperger he literally made a call to a, f a fellow republican trying to say the the election is very close all we need is 12,000 votes to overturn this state. And he didn't tell him to go find the votes. He said that it's a very small gap. We only need 12,000 votes. And I believe there's fraud. And they're going to have to prove intent in all, in all these cases that Trump didn't actually think that the election was stolen. It's absolutely insane. All these lawsuits are bullshit. And it's literally election interference. Like, why don't they want to just take on their opponent? Like fairly okay so again they the always 14th mention amendment y'all yeah. so do your research on that yeah we did it's not that, the same um, hold on. this is really a strange analogy but i've seen it on uh, on social media they mentioned that charles manson who did not actually physically kill those right. people oh, was... he he sort of was was the brain the, the ring puppeteer? Leader. He was the puppeteer, and that is what Donald Trump was the puppeteer. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to just finish that? Oh, no, actually, Sonny is illegal now. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. In Georgia, Donald Trump yeah. and his 18. Their shit is so far left that they literally have to cover their ass from getting sued by saying this. That's how you know that it's all bullshit when they have to say this. Co defendants have denied wrongdoing. 
All 19 defendants have pleaded not guilty and waived their arraignments. Trump has maintained his innocence in both state and federal criminal cases and has pleaded not guilty to all of course, charges. That's why everybody always pleads not guilty. <laughs> but these Proud Boys are only praying that he wins the election so he can pardon them because that's their only choice. Well, now. and we now not know. Not everybody pleads not guilty. Some of them are working out, uh, are probably no, working out. No, the Proud Boys, the ones who, this one who just the, got 22 the Proud years. Yeah, and, but he can, with a, with a uh, stroke of a pen, uh, Trump could get him a pardon, correct? Is federal. If, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, if, he becomes, if he becomes president, becomes of, president of the president. United States yeah. again, which we will fight till the death yeah but you know what i'm not so sure like how are how do they not see how ironic and hypocritical it is to say something like that they give trump trump all this crap for challenging an election that he actually thought was stolen and then they come back and say we'll fight like hell to keep him off the ballot it's like why don't you want to like take on your opponent in a fair way they're literally terrified of this guy they've like i said they've been trying to get him for eight years you guys are so pathetic. Uh, uh, I'm not so sure that getting rid of Trump helps the, helps the Democrats because no, he's so on top of all so dumb. disliked, so much a criminal, that if he runs against Joe Biden, Joe Biden could Don't win in a landslide. They're, they're pretty There's close There's only to one way to you know what I Joe Biden won last election by 42,000 votes. Yeah, his popular vote was, was higher, but if you really go down to it, and and it's three states, three swing states, and it's 42,000 votes total that swung the election. People act like Joe Biden just dominated. It was 42,000 votes. This could have very easily been Trump. And, I mean, 42,000 seems like some bad stuff could have gone on for just that little of a margin. And it was all done in the swing states. I would like to know if we had, t had time for it, who would you say, if Biden backs out, mm -hmm. who do you want to put in there? We'll be right back. That's a great topic. <laughs> This is it. Dummies. Yeah, but that's going to wrap up the clip. Um, as you guys can see, these, these liberals have reached, like, peak insanity and just trying to get Trump from even being on the ballot. They don't even want to run against him anymore. They're like, just get him out. I don't want to see him. I'm too triggered when I see him. But they don't realize their entire show will be gone if they don't have him. What else will they talk about? Nothing. Gender positivity. But that's going to wrap up the clip. Do me a favor and hit the like button below. Uh, really helps this video get out uh, to other people. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the video. Do you agree with this insane Fourteenth? Do you agree with this insane Fourteenth Amendment theory that they have concocted up their latest conspiracy theory, or do you think it's absolutely insane? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. And if you hit that, make sure you turn on the notification bell. Because why not? All it's going to do is notify you to the latest Fast Zone News content. And why wouldn't you want that? Uh, but that's going to wrap up the video. So that's going to wrap up the coverage of this clip. And as you guys can see, they're absolutely insane. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think the left's latest conspiracy theory has a chance? Or do you think it's absolutely insane? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, I want to thank all my viewers and all my new subscribers. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the button below to gain access to the latest news and content seven days a week. And this has been another edition of Fast Zone News. Peace out. <laughs>